A recipe for banana oat muffins calls for three fourths of a cup of old fashioned oats. You are making one half of the recipe. How much oats should you use? So, if the whole recipe requires three fourths of a cup and you're making half of the recipe, you want half of three fourths, right? You want half of the number of old fashioned oats as the whole recipe. So, you want one half, you want one half of three fourths. One half of three fourths. So you just multiply one half times three fourths. And this is equal to, you multiply the numerators, one times three is three, two times four is eight. And we're done. You need three eighths, you need three eighths of a cup of old, of old fashioned oats. And let's visualize that a little bit, just so it makes a little bit more sense. Let me draw what three fourths looks like. Or essentially, how much oats you would need in a normal situation, or if you're doing the whole recipe. So let me draw. Let me draw. Let's say that this is represents a whole cup, and if we put it into fourths, so let me divide it a little bit better. So if we put it into fourths, you put it into fourths. Three fourths, three fourths would represent three of these. So it would represent. One, two, three. It would represent that many oats. Now, you want half of this, right? Because you're going to make half of the recipe. So we could just split this in half. We could just split this in half. Let me do this with a new color. So this, this, you would normally use this orange amount of oats, but we're going to do half the recipe. So you'd want half as many oats. So you'd want half as many oats. So you would want this many oats. This many oats. Now let's think about what that is relative to a whole cup. Well, one way we can do it is to turn each of these four buckets, or these four pieces, or these four sections of a cup, into eight sections of a cup. Let's see what happens when we do that. So we're essentially turning each each piece, each fourth, into two pieces. So let's divide each of them into two. So this is the first. This is the first piece. We're going to divide it into two right there. So now it is two pieces. And then this is the second piece right here. We divide it into one piece and then two pieces. This is the third piece, so we divide it into one, two pieces. And this is the fourth piece, or the fourth section. And we divide it into two sections. Now, what is, what is this, what is this as a fraction of the whole? Well, we have eight pieces now, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because we turned each of the four, we split them again into eight. So we have eight as a denominator, and we took half of the three fourths, right? Remember, three fourths was in orange. Let me make this very clear because this drawing can get confusing. This was three fourths right there, so that in that is three fourths. This area, this area in this purple color, this area in this purple color, is one half of. Of the three fourths, but let's think about it in terms of the eights. How many of these sections of eight is it? Well, you have one section of eight here, two section of eights there, three sections of eight. So it is three eights. So hopefully that makes some sense or gives you a more tangible feel for what it means when you take one half of three fourths.